Hello everyone, welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. I have uh, three dolls I want to share with you today. I know you probably watched my last video from the 80s Rewind. I also had three dolls. But um, these dolls kind of go together and I wanted to go ahead and share them. So um, let's get started. Now we're going to take this back to, oh lord, 60 odd years ago and talk about some vintage reproduction dolls. You can kind of see Miss Barbie here. But I want to start with um, another doll who just came out and we're celebrating his 60th anniversary birthday this year and that is Alan. So this is the new 60th anniversary Alan doll that just came out. I think he went uh, pr on pre-order on Valentine's Day. So uh, I had to order him because I have Barbie and Ken. I missed out on Midge. I hope to get her soon. A um, little upset I didn't get her when she came out, uh, so I'm stuck paying eBay prices. But I hope to get her eventually, and when I do, I'll do a video with her, of her, and we'll talk about her. So, let's talk about Alan. It's his 60th anniversary. Alan came out in 1964, that's when he debuted, and they had him come out as a best friend or buddy for Ken, and a boyfriend for Midge. So, uh, Alan came in this very multicolored striped shirt, blue swim trunks, and the original doll had cork sandals with a blue strap. These are plastic. And he has, I don't know if the original Alan had this green wrist tag or not. I'm not quite sure, but he has hit a, a wrist tag that says, Genuine Alan by Mattel. I'm not sure if it was green. If you know down in the comments what the original wrist tags look like for Alan, please let me know. I'm very curious. And then before we go into more detail of the doll, let's talk about his doll stand. Uh, it's your basic doll stand, but I hope you can see it. They put Alan on it, which I thought was a very cool touch. Uh, they would do that. It personalizes it for the doll. And of course, it's your basic doll stand with the plastic waist clip. I have a love-hate relationship with these. I love usually the bases because they do always put the doll's name right here. But a lot of times, these waist clips, when I'm going to put the doll on, they just snap. So I have a love-hate hate, love, hate relationship with them. But I'm going to try to be very careful with it. <laughs> um, these dolls, usually I don't take down and mess with very often. So typically, their stands take pretty good shape. Now, um, again, this is a silk stone, uh, which is a, a type of plastic that resembles uh, uh, porcelain, but it's a lot more sturdy. So he's, these dolls are very heavy. They have a good heft to them. And uh, at, the original Alan kind of had this reddish hair and brown eyes. And I have to admit, I really enjoyed the Alan character in the Barbie movie. Um, I believe he's played with Michael Sarah if I get his name right. Um, did an amazing job capturing, capturing Alan because sometimes Midge and Alan don't get the love they quite deserve in the Barbie universe considering they're the first best friends of Barbie and Ken. And uh, I don't have vintage Alan. I have a couple of vintage Kens, a few vintage Barbies from that time period. Um, if you saw my video about the 1967 Twister and Barbie, very excited about her. I only have, I have one vintage Ken with just the regular straight legs and I have a really intact bend click knee Ken from 1964. I'll eventually do a video on him actually. I think he deserves his own video. But um, I do want a vintage Allen. I have a vintage Midge. So I need a vintage, vintage Allen to kind of finish it off. Um, hopefully I can get him in his original outfit. I. Look on eBay, the, the vintage Allen dolls really aren't a bad price. I thought they were gonna skyrocket because of the movie and they really haven't. So eventually I'll probably get a vintage Allen. But until then, I'm very happy with, with the Silkstone version of him. He's a very nice doll. He has amazing details. I just, I, I really love this doll. I was super excited when uh, they came out with him. 
So, um, before we move on to the next doll, let's take a look at his box. Uh, cause, you know, the box is just as important to collectors as the actual doll. So here's his box. It's orange. Uh, I'm glad they chose, chose this color because, uh, his original box that he came in had an orange background with the drawing of him. So that was cool that they kind of threw back to that. Uh, this is a gold label doll, so there's no more than 20,000 of him made worldwide. And uh, it says right here on the box, genuine silkstone body, Barbie signature, 60th anniversary Allen doll. Has Allen here, nothing on the sides. And then of course there's Allen on the top. And then on the back of the box, it just says, when Alan debuted, debuted, debuted in 1964, he was introduced as a buddy for Ken and a boyfriend for Midge. Dressed in a striped beach jacket and swim trunks, he fit right in with Barbie and her friends. It has been a long lasting friendship filled with many wonderful adventures. And just like Midge, Alan could wear all of Ken's clothes. <laughs> they were the same size. Uh, and I thought that was really funny. They pointed that out in the movie. Again, love the Alan character in the movie. I'm so glad he kind of got the attention he deserves. So let's go ahead, since we're already talking about the guys, we'll save Miss Barbie for last. Let's go ahead and talk about the 60th anniversary Ken Silkstone that came out three years ago because Ken's 60th anniversary was in uh, 2021. So his stand is just like Alan's. I'm dusting it off a little bit. I haven't dusted it in a while. Uh, just like Alan's, except it says Ken on it and basically basic clip waist stand. And so let's look at the doll. So of course he comes in Ken's original outfit, this red and white striped beach jacket, the white or the red swim trunks, the white stripe. Um, the cork sandals, these are plastic, of course, with the red stripe. And his uh, tag that says Genuine Kin. Again, I don't know if the Kin tags were blue. I'm thinking they probably were. Again, if you know what color the tags were, let me know in the comments below. And because the very first Kin had flocked hair, this one has flocked hair, which I think is nice. Hopefully this flocking will hold up better over the years than the original Ken's flocking did. And now I do not have a number one Ken with flocked hair. I eventually want to get one. The vintage Ken, I, Ken's I do have have the molded hair. Uh, so eventually I hope to get a number one Ken with flocked hair. And again, their prices aren't terrible on eBay. So I'll probably eventually get them. But again, he has silkstone body, just like Alan and I, I actually really like the original Ken's face. I thought both Ken and Alan are very handsome. Um, the only thing is, I think they could have maybe given them thicker arms, in my opinion. But, um, you know, they were going for teenage boy next door. So in that case, they're both very handsome and very sweet guys. Um, because the original Ken came with a yellow terry cloth towel, so did his reproduction so he has his towel um and alan didn't come with that so they're keeping it pretty true to what the dolls actually came with when they first debuted so here's ken and before we get up, get to miss barbie let's look at his box it is blue and if i remember correctly ken's box was a blue it was kind of like Barbie's. It had Ken on it and a bunch of little drawings of him wearing his different outfits. But I like that they went this very Ken blue. I love this shade of blue, just like my favorite color is Barbie pink. So I love that they did this Ken blue for his box. And just like Alan, he is a gold label doll. So there's no more than 20,000 worldwide made of him. And his box is very similar to Alan's, except, you know, it's Ken. So, same box. I love it when they kind of keep the boxes kind of uniform, but also customized to the doll. As a collector, I really like that a lot. And these are really nice boxes. It's the same quality of box like you'd see in the other silk stones that have come out over the years. And on the back of his, 
It says, after hundreds of Barbie fan club letters poured in requesting a boyfriend for Barbie, Mattel introduced Ken in 1961. And the world's most iconic couple was born. The 60th anniversary of Ken Carson is celebrated with this reproduction of the original Ken in a silk stone body and classic beach style. Ken is outfitted in a red cotton swim trunks with a white stripe and stylish brown some trucks with white stripe and a stylish brown beach sandals with red straps. With black sunshine blonde hair, his beach look is complete with a yellow terry cloth beach towel and a, genu and a genuine Ken wrist tag that keeps him true to original production. With his classic charm and dashing good looks, Ken is still a doll then and now. So I love these little bur blurbs they put on the boxes of the dolls. Now. We are gonna go to Miss Barbie. She is, of course, modeled after the number one Barbie that came out in 1959. So she has the peg stand with the holes in the feet. And I've said this before, I believe in other videos, I think when I did my 12 Days of Christmas Barbies, I love this stand. <laughs> I feel like every time they do a vintage reproduction Barbie, they should give them the stand. Whether or not she's meant to be the number one or not, I love the stand. Um, I just love the pose she strikes on it. It's very elegant, very pretty. And of course, she's in her iconic black and white swimsuit. She did come with her sunglasses. I have them put away with other accessories, but she came with her uh, white cat eye sunglasses with the blue lenses, and of course, her gold hoop earrings. Um, I do not have an original 1959 Barbie. I want a number one Barbie. I am dying for one, but good lord, the price on those dolls in terrible condition. They're expensive. So until I can get my hands on original number one, I have this beauty. She uh, does have the silk stone body, just like the boys. Of course, there's her classic red nail polish. She's got her pedicure, her black mules, and of course her iconic ponytail pulled back. And then that gorgeous original Barbie face that we all know and love. And she was actually put out for Mattel's 75th anniversary, not for a Barbie anniversary, but this was for Mattel's 70th anniversary. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have her box. Uh, when I ordered her from Amazon, <laughs> um, the box was ruined in transit. I was not happy. So it was a rainy day, a hole got into the shipping box and ruined her box. So I do not have her box. I was very upset about that, but she was fine. There was nothing wrong with her. She was in perfect condition. Um, I've considered buying her box off of eBay because, you know, they'll sell the box separate from the doll. So I might eventually do that, but it looked very similar to um, Ken and Alan's box, except of course it was Barbie pink, had her on it with Barbie, and it said genuine stone body. She is also um, gold label, so no more than 20,000 of her were made world, worldwide. Um, so I love her, and she did, She did. I do have a wrist tag, again, I have to put away with her sunglasses, but hers was a Barbie pink wrist tag, so genuine Barbie. I need to find it and put it back on her. It just kind of slides off and on. But um, I love her. I think she looks great with the, with the guys. And I uh, really regret I missed getting midges 60th anniversary silkstone doll. I plan on getting her. I hope I can get her off of eBay soon. Or maybe I can talk to my husband to get her for me. Maybe. But uh, eventually I will add Midge, so I'll have the foursome. And that will be completed until they maybe do a 60th anniversary skipper doll. Hmm. I would love that. Um, so let me know, know in the comments below if you want a 60th anniversary Silkstone Skipper doll. And if you have any of these dolls or if you just got Alan, uh, last I looked, I don't think he sold out yet. 
on Mattel Creations. So you have your chance. I believe you have to be a member though. So if you're not a member, you gotta pay like the $10 for the membership fee and then order him. But last I looked, and I believe I looked yesterday because I was checking his shipping, um, I, he's not sold out yet. So you have a chance to get him. Uh, now Ken and Barbie, she's definitely hard to find. And then they did a brunette version of her for the Barbie convention of that year, uh, which <laughs> since she's a convention doll, we all know how expensive she is. Um, but if you want her or the brunette version, eBay. Mm. So uh, hopefully eventually I can get her box. I really do want her box. And um, Ken, I think he finally sold out on Tell Creations. He didn't sell very fast. I got him, I got both him and Barbie off of Amazon. I got him on a major sale and uh, I didn't get Barbie on sale, but she's Barbie, so I paid full price. Um, but I love them. Again, I can't wait to get Midge. I hate that I'm having to pay, I'm gonna have to pay eBay prices, but I was so busy trying to buy all the Barbie movie dolls that I'm like, oh, Midge is there, she'll be there. Then when I finally went to go buy her, she was gone. So uh, I'll eventually get her and do a review on her. But again, let me know down in the comments below if you have any of these dolls, if you love them, what you think about them. I love these dolls. I love the Silkstone bodies. I want us to get more Silkstone dolls. And like I said, hopefully we'll get a Silkstone 60th anniversary Skipper doll. That would be amazing. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram at Hunty's Dollies. That's where I post all of my updates for my uh, dog collection. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day and come back for more videos of Barbie and her friends.